Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, let me share you the unboxing and review of this uh, EPZ Q1 Pro IEM. And it's a review unit, so I get this package. And also along with that, I get the three EPZ liquid silicon ear tips as well. So now firstly, here's the EPZ Q1 Pro box. And the rear side of the box, that is some of the specs of this uh, IEMs are given. Now once you open it, so now firstly you will get the EPC Q1 Pro IEM and it actually connected along with the cables also and after that inside the box there is a one more storage box and inside that you will get your IEM storage bag like this and then your two pair of ear tips and then user manual. Now let's talk about the design and the build quality of this uh, EPC Q1 Pro. So on the design and the build quality it's a really good one. So firstly on the cable so it uh, comes with the four core pure copper cable and it also looks Looks like a brighter type and in the cable on the one end that is a 3.5 jack and also there is a type c variant also and in the 3.5 jack you can select a mic or non mic question and on the type c version there is only a mic question and on the another side of the cable there is a hair hook shape is given it helps for better fitting on wearing and overall the cable quality is a really good one so the cable is also comes with a very thick in size so i really uh, liked the quality of the cable and moving on to the IEM shell, the cavity of the IEM is fully designed on the 3D printing. So it's looking very good on the build quality. Overall, it's fully made of a resin material and it's a purest form of plastic and also it's a skin friendly. And uh, on the face plate, it's a handmade design. The face plate is looking gorgeous and beautiful in design. It's a handmade design, a lot of colors included on the face plate and also it's look like laminated. Overall, this Q1 Pro IEM face plate is looking beautiful and in both iem shell there is a l and r is mentioned and since it's fully made of a resin material the iem shell is comes with a very light in weight so in terms of wearing so it is very perfect for me so after wearing this iem so it actually gives me that uh, snug fit for me the wearing is comfortably fitted for me and also in terms of comfort also it's really good because of the light weight so even after using for long hours i didn't face any ear pain like that so the ear comfort is also very good but the comfort is completely based on each one ear size and the shape but for me the comfort is really good and fitting is also snug fit so it fits very well for my ears now next to moving on to its music experience on the music uh, quality i really liked the most on the music experience so firstly on the sound stage it comes with a very wide sound stage and so you can easily able to pursue all the sounds and the sound separation is really great you can easily able to differentiate the sounds between the vocals and the other instruments in the lower frequencies so in terms of uh, sound stage i really liked the sound stage so it gives that a three dimensional audio center left and right and the positioning of sounds is also really good so that imaging is really good like that center focused vocals is actually coming from the top and in the l and r so it is fully uh, moved to the l and r so it's a full left and full right and on the bass so the lower frequencies that the bass effects has created some depth so it has a deeper bass and not a flat type of bass so because of this white sound stage it gives that a three dimensional and spacious and immersive type of uh, audio experience so it's a very enjoyable to listen because of that white sound stage and uh, moving on to the sound reproduction so in terms of vocals it has a very clear and crystal vocals so and at the same time it's not a very sharp so you can able to feel that treble or high frequency sounds also so every higher pitch sounds like that vocals female vocals or uh, his cymbal sounds so you can able to feel that all sounds but it's not a very sharp and also the vocals is not very sharp the vocals is crispy and clear and uh, moving on to the instrument sounds even all the instrument sounds in the lower frequencies are well detailed so it has a balanced frequency response so whatever frequency of sound so you can easily able to hear and the texture of the vocals and instruments also really good so it reflects the originality in the vocals you can able to feel that so this uh, vocals is coming from your favorite singer so like that you can easily able to remind in that way the, it has that natural sound reproduction and and in terms of bass experience it has a deeper bass and also the bass experience that amount of effect is really good 
but at the same time the amount of effect uh, you get on the base is completely based on at a what device you are uh, connecting because this epc q1 pro iem is comes with the input impedance of 32 ohm which means it needs a lot of power for example the quality of uh, sounds is, uh, differs based on the smartphones or based on the audio source you connect maybe if you connect this iem with uh, any older phones like that means and in that phone that DAC quality is not good means then you might experience that the lower frequencies base effect will be uh, minimal like that but in my point i actually checked on the honor smartphone and also i checked on the realme phone in the realme phone i get the best experience on the base it has a deeper and a punchier base i i really enjoyed the base experience on this iem but when compared to realme phone on the honor phone the base experience is uh, slightly lesser and the overall volume is slightly lesser compared to realme phone in case if you feel the overall volume and the base experience is less on this epc q1 pro means then it's not only the problem of the epc q1 pro and also the phone you are connecting this iem because this iem comes with the higher input impedance if the input impedance and the phone you are connecting that output impedance is not matches means then because of that so the overall volume will be slightly lesser and you might feel less effects on the base experience and during that time you can try to upgrade to any DAC in the future I would recommend the KC AM01 DAC it outputs 16 ohms of impedance and also it's a budget friendly it costs around 1000 rupees so when combining this DAC along with this EPC Q1 Pro so the experience will be much more better and you will get a sharp occults and the base has a very good depth and also it's a deeper and a punch your base and overall it's a wide sound stage and you'll get a very high volume also and sound separation is also good so overall in this apc q1 pro you will get a enjoyable and energetic music experience if you combine with the additional DAC and if you not combine means you will get a very enjoyable experience with a decent good uh, volume and also along with that uh, always use the high resolution songs and lossless songs you can easily stream using the apple music well now that's it on this video guys now this is my review of this epc q1 pro model it's overall very good in build quality design and the music experience is really great well that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and if you're already using this product means uh, and uh, let me share your experience in the comment section below and uh, thanks for watching this video guys